try to not to admit it, but everywhere I look and everything I see just tells me that it's true. And it's not the gray hairs. It's not the dark, dark circles that have become a permanent fixture underneath my eyes. It's not the fact that I'm tired all the time or that I'm in a bad mood all the time. It's not the fact that wherever I look, I see people that are younger than me looking at dumb things on TV, listening to silly music, dressed in even sillier clothing. It's not the fact that I can remember things in 30-year increments now, either. Matter of fact, it's all that. I got no choice but to accept it. I'm getting old. Oh, well. And as soon as I think I've, no, I'm OK. I've forgotten about it, or it's not true, some just kind of walks up and goes, smack. Ah. Right in the face. Yeah, you're getting old. I met up with a friend a couple weeks ago, and he was treating a girl who was celebrating her birthday, her 20th birthday. Yeah, I just kind of stood there for a second. 20. 20. Honey, I said to her, I have shirts older than you. As a matter of fact, half my comic book collection is older than she is. And speaking of my comic books, when did I go from casting myself as the young sidekick to being too old to even be the hero? I mean, what happened? Where did the time go? I don't know. I didn't think about music. You know, when I started listening to the radio, the oldie station, you know, the stuff they played, 10, 15 years old, seemed pretty old, right? And I think, wait a minute, the music I listened to then is now twice as old as that. All right, Hungry Like the Wolf? That was 30 years ago. All right, that wolf starved to death a hell of a long time ago. All right, he's rotting on the side of the road now. And then you think about movies, you know? Again, when I was a kid, I'd watch old movies, right? Stuff from the 40s, you know, about 30, 35 years old at the time. Ancient. Well, hold on to your socks, people. Star Wars, the original Star Wars movie, that came out in 1977. Do the math, that's 36 years ago. And I remember going out to the theater to see it. I remember when that was the big, buzzy movie. I remember that. And uh, just if you're wondering, Harrison Ford, the roguish hand solo in that flick, anybody care to guess how old he is this year? 70, seven, zero, all right? And if you're thinking, okay, he was the quote unquote older guy in that flick, Mark Hamill, young Luke Skywalker, He's 61 now, <laughs> all right? Time passes by. Okay, but what about the young Hollywood of my teenage years? A little better, right? Tom Cruise, he's 50. Brad Pitt, Johnny Depp, this year, they're also gonna be 50. How did that happen? I don't understand. I think about my dad when he was my age, and he seemed so old. Granted, I was six years old and eight seemed old, but I mean, I'm not old like he was now, am I? I don't think so. I mean, okay, walk into a room every once in a while and... Oh, hell, why did I walk in here? Why did I walk in here? I know I walked in here for a reason. There's got to be a reason I walked in here. You know, I didn't just walk in this room to get my jollies. Well, whatever, I'll figure it out later. You know, you know, I'm still pretty spry and good. I can perform physically at the same level I did years ago. Granted, now it's a choice between working out and taking a nap, and the nap usually wins. But hey, what are you going to do? Now, comedian George Carlin, I love George Carlin, who sadly passed away a couple years ago, he once said that when he turned 40, he looked in the mirror and said, Well, I guess I'm getting older. Ah, oh, who am I kidding? I'm old. It's like, okay, so I guess for that definition, I'm old, gotta accept that I'm old. Okay, no problem. But I ask myself, you know, what does the future hold for me? What's gonna happen as I enter the late summer of my life, you know? How much grayer is my hair gonna get? How much thinner is it gonna get? My head was pretty cold today. What's gonna happen? Am I gonna have an affair with my secretary and buy that sports car? Okay, I don't have a secretary, but I think you know where I'm going with this. At least I hope you do. Unless you're all too young to know what I'm talking about. Yeah, but I just don't want to turn into that old guy. I think everybody knows what I mean when I say that old guy. When we were all kids, there was that one old guy, you know, he peeked out behind a screen door. 
and he had nothing better to do all day than yell at all his kids having fun outside. You know, just step out there, flip that door open. Oh, you're my sugar, the kids, get off my lawn! You're making too much noise! I can't hear my stories! I'm gonna call your parents! Ugh. And he just slams it behind. You know, I don't want to turn into that guy. Please don't let me turn into that guy. Even though I have yelled at kids who are running across my lawn once already. <coughs> And keep in mind, I haven't had a front lawn in about six years, so <laughs> that spells trouble. Darn it. But then again, as George Carlin also said, old, old is really just a state of mind. As long as you think young, you know, you won't get old. Be young by being young, not a problem. So I think, yeah, okay, I'm not old. And I'm certainly not old as long as I have 20 year olds sitting on me, right? All right. Oh, darn, that is a little creepy, isn't it? Yeah, my age, 20 year old, that's not good. Oh, well, whatever, but I'm not old. I'm determined not to be old. If anything, I am well-seasoned. So, thank you all.